Modern Warfare 3 was announced today, releasing November 10th. Not the Modern Warfare 3 you're watching right now. Modern Warfare 3 with three lines instead of three the number. It's, uh, I don't know why they're naming this the way they are. Other than they're trying to generate hype because their older games are very popular. The old the original Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 were very popular. So, oh, they're like, oh, the new one's coming out. This is going to be even better than the first one. <laughs> Listen, I, I hope it is. I hope it's an amazing game. I want it to be awesome uh, for, for tons of reasons. One, I don't want to go insane while playing it. Two, I want the viewership to be good while I you know am uploading it. And three, I want other people to be able to enjoy it and play it as well. You know, it's 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 only a positive. It's why I tell the developers every year I go out there if I, if I get invited. I might not get invited this year to play early. It's like, look, I want to give you guys as much feedback as I can. I want the game to be as good as possible. It's beneficial for everyone. You sell more copies. The company's happy. The players are happy because you guys listened and the feedback was, you know, on point. But, you know, they just don't listen all the time. Although they could start. You never know. You never know. At some point in time, right, they started listening to other people and the games went downhill. At any point in time, they could start listening to us or others again and the game goes uphill. It's hard to say. That's the weird part about it. It's hard to say, but important information. Let's go over Modern Warfare 3 right now. The new MW3. Uh, please, for the love of God, do not have Recon Pro and Sit Rep Pro. Please, please. Okay, those things are terrible for the game. I don't understand the point of developers making their game and then making it so you can't really move around in it. Like perks that limit, even the game itself that limits mobility. Like, why do you even have mobility then? There's just, it's just, you know, let people move throughout the map without constantly being tracked and soundboard. It might have worked somewhat well or better, you know, back in the older days where not as many people, this might surprise you, but not as many people owned headsets 15 years ago. Uh, Dead, Sil Dead Silence was still the best perk by far, and everyone used it if they were decent. But a lot of people were like, you know, sitting 25 feet back away from their 50-inch TV just gaming. And that, that's fine. You can do that. They're not going to soundboard nearly as well. But nowadays, let's be honest, especially with skill-based matchmaking, everyone has their fucking headset plugged in, cranked to the moon. Most of the people on controller are playing on PC at this point to get the extra field of vision in other games and for the extra frame rate because aim assist is stronger with the frame rate when it's turned up. It's more accurate and precise, less laggy as well. And they have their sound EQ turned up all the way so they can sound or even. I mean, it's it's insane to the point that what we've gotten is like, holy shit, you know? Um, so please, no Recon Pro, no Sit Rep Pro. Let us be able to move around the map. And the rumor is, if I pull it up right here, the rumor, I can't show you guys because things have been copyright striked and removed. Uh, Ninja is returning as a perk, but they're, it's called Gear. Um, and the perk system is going to be replaced by a gear system. Helmets, gloves, boots, vest in this scenario. Uh, Overkill is a vest and Ninja are the boots to give you an idea. That's how it was kind of described, I guess. And honestly, not a bad thing. Um, Overkill, in my opinion, also has been one of the most overpowered perks for years. It's been insane. If you go play older older games, Overkill is way more balanced. If you play COD 4, dude, if you Overkill, you can't even have a secondary with like... First off, you lose stopping power or Juggernaut. That's huge trade-off. Nowadays, if you use Overkill, your, your perk option that you lose is like extra fucking tactical grenade. Dude, are you fucking me? An extra tactical? Cool? That's all you lose? I used to lose stopping power or juggernaut. You can get two fully kitted weapons in a game and lose nothing except an extra fucking stun. It's insane, okay? Their, their lack of balance with overkill is disgusting. Disgusting, and it has been for like six or seven years, okay? Overkill needs to be more balanced. That's like in every game. Ninja, I'm happy it's back. Don't get me wrong, happy it's back. Uh, EOD, please make it so EOD or flak jacket actually protects you from explosives. It took you eight months in Modern Warfare 2 to realize this. I don't know why that was so fucking long. Blows my mind. Um, tack mask should actually protect you from stuns. You shouldn't get stunned for four seconds with tack mask on or flash for four seconds with tack mask on. Should be like 0.5 seconds. Also, I think pretty self-explanatory. If I have to waste a fucking perk that barely stops a piece of equipment. That is stupid. A perk is way more important in value than a piece of equipment, right? And a wholly kitted, fully kitted gun, way more valuable than a, than a, you know, an extra piece of tactical equipment as well. Also, pretty obvious. 
the UI, I hope they improve the UI. I, the rumor is that it's kind of similar. I think they're going to improve upon it. They've been spending this year improving, improving on what they had to begin with, to be honest. So, yeah, I get it. The color scheme of the game and UI is red was the rumor. This was before any release. Funny enough, actually is true. If you guys would like to watch the trailer, the link is in the description. I'm not going to put the trailer on my channel in the off chance that there is copyright related sound uh, music in it. So I, I never know. So I'm not going to touch that. Okay. Although it looks like it's just a Modern Warfare 3, like original Modern Warfare 3 to new Modern Warfare 3 trailer. It doesn't look like there's anything copyright that would happen, but just to be safe, I'm not going to do it because yeah, it just creates a problem. Um, a lot of weapons are in the game. I mean, a lot of stuff you're probably used to. AK-556, uh, Lockman, MP5, Striker 45. You're going to see a lot of similar weapons, but not all the same. Surprisingly, there's also quite a few new weapons. Like, you know, I don't really recognize, I guess the WSP they send is the Uzi, the Uzi, Uzi, the Uzi. Uh, Sidewinder, KVS Terminus, AMR-50 is a sniper. I'm sure it's a 50 cal sniper. I don't know. They're probably just renamed versions of weapons we've used. Mm, kind of expected, to be honest, but not a big deal. That's okay. As long as the weapons are somewhat balanced, I think they need to spend more time balancing weapons in Modern Warfare 3. Dude, I mean, just make a gun good. That's fine. And then fucking nerf it after like a month and a half, two months, you know, let one gun be at the top for a while. For example, we could have the TAC-56 be the best gun in, in the, the current Modern Warfare 2, right? Nerf it. It's been six goddamn months. I'm tired of dying to it. It's all it's fucking used. I know the M4 is pretty good. I know the 74U is pretty good. I know they've both been nerfed as well. Fucking nerf the Tech 56. Let something else hold the top for a while. Change up the meta. I'm bored of dying to it. Okay? Please. Thank you. Do the same thing in Modern for 3. Let a gun rain at the top for a while and then nerf it. If you have new guns being released, don't release new guns that suck ass. Surprise, surprise, no one's going to fucking use them. Just like they don't use the other weapons already. So when new guns release, release them very good. At the, it maybe overpowered might even be a good word for it. And then guess what? Nerf it after a month. It's fine. Let us have fun for one month with a new gun. And then nerf it. Totally okay. Uh, as far as remade maps, I would love to see that maps remade. I have no problem with remade maps as long as they're good ones. A lot of times, they're not good ones. Right now, the pictures that have been released, these are not fully confirmed, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. These look pretty good. Uh, Terminal. I'm not a big fan of Terminal for Search and Destroy, but it, it can always be changed up and reworked to make it a little bit more friendly on rush routes. But Terminal is a decent map otherwise. Uh, it's just the rushing on offense is a problem. That's all. Scrapyard. Not a huge Scrapyard fan either with how it was made in Modern Warfare 19. But I would totally be okay if uh, if it was made if it was made uh, similar to how it was in Modern Warfare 2. That that was the version of Scrapyard that was much better. But the Modern Warfare 19 version, not very good. You can't shoot through any walls and punish people for camping up in those rafters and stuff. They can kind of just be invincible, which is stupid. Uh, but that's pretty much it right now on the remakes. I think those are actually both fine remakes in comparison to what we're getting. Dome, for example, in Modern Warfare 2 was a really shitty remake. That was a bad option. That map sucks and has sucked. Anyways, I appreciate the support for the videos. I appreciate you guys watching the older videos and the older Call of Duty games. I will continue to upload and play them. Uh, I'm hopefully looking forward to playing the beta one month early. So it'll be October like 6th or 7th at the very least. It'll be on PS4, PS5 first, just a heads up. Sony still has a deal with, with uh, Act Activision and Call of Duty. Uh, even though Microsoft bought the franchise, it's, it's not going to change. So uh, it's still on Sony for at least this year and the next year, most likely. Um, so the first weekend will be PlayStation. The second weekend will be PS4. PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Um, but, you know, the beta is only one month before release. I wouldn't expect too many changes at that point. Ma mostly just major bug fixes. I hope I play it early. If I will, or I do, if I get an invite, I'll give feedback. And, uh, yeah. I appreciate all the support, like I said. Thanks for watching. I hope you look forward to it. Check out the trailer if you want. And I'll see you tomorrow.